So in early October, we sent a team of 10 guys to Houston from Cross of Christ to help with Hurricane Harvey recovery. I got to be on that team. And I'll tell you, the devastation that we saw was just staggering. There's, it was hard to even get it in a picture to convey to you what we experienced, what we saw, what we felt while we were there. It's whole neighborhoods with a pile of trash in front of every house, huge pile of trash, and that used to be people's lives, everything that was on their first floor. We did a lot of demolition work and helped people, ripped out drywall, kitchen cabinets, floors, bathrooms, all that kind of stuff. That was the main kind of work that we did while we were there. And in the midst of the devastation, we saw there was a couple things that, well, many things that encourage us, but a couple that I'll point out now. First, to see the church come together. We were hosted by Salem in Tomball. They provided the meals and the housing, and then Trinity and Klein was organizing the work. To see those churches working together to be a source of blessing and hope for their community was very encouraging to us. And also just the hospitality and help that they provided for us while we were there. They've got a great operation running and they've committed to helping with hurricane recovery for at least a year. And that's staffing and resources and food pantry and all kinds of things that they're doing to bless their community. The other thing that was so encouraging and life-giving was to meet the homeowners that we were helping, to hear their stories, and maybe because it's a month out, they were willing to reflect on what all this meant for them, what was next for them, and to sit with them and hear the trauma they've been through, and then to hear about how God's kingdom has been advancing in their life in really small ways, but when you think about what all they've been through, it's huge to see God giving people hope, giving faith, strengthening faith in the midst of all that's happening down there in Houston right now. So thank you for this opportunity, for supporting us with your prayers and with your just encouragement as we went on this trip. Thank you for the overwhelming generosity that this congregation has shown so that we could give a sizable gift to people in Texas and in Florida to help with their recovery efforts. I think it was close to $17,000 or more that we divided between those two places to help with the recovery. So thank you. And we're grateful to have had this opportunity and cross of Christ behind us as we did it.